Hello and welcome to Leon's Lock Pad. Uh, we're going to do a stock Euro cylinder today. Um, it came apart as part of the eBay collection that I got. Um, it was a full cylinder, um, cut it in half though. It's a ISEO, probably like and keyway. And show you the bitting. Not too bad. Uh, it's an original key. It says made in Italy. Uh, it does work absolutely fine. Nice and smooth. Um, oh, I got a parcel list today from West Coast Picks, and it was a third prize when uh, it was a third prize in the uh, Sub Zero challenge um, and he sent me this which is a medico which I've never had before I know a lot of I know I've heard a lot of stories about these medicos and how difficult they can be to pick um, I do know that it works though um, as you can see the bitten bitten looks quite uh, nasty but it's not that's not the important part it's when you do this and you turn the key sideways, you can see how the bit is twisted. And because the key uh, the key pins in this are sharp like a chisel, similar to a chisel, they slot, they twist. And when they twist into the right part of the key, the bar drops and then it opens. Um, so I actually do know how these work. Uh, it's just a case of learning how to pick it, I guess. But, uh, it should be fun and thank you very much West Coast mate for sending it me well I'll be having some fun with that hopefully right so let's get this uh, Euro picked uh, I've not picked this before um, I've got quite a few left sort of seeing the the blurriness down there. Got quite a few more to go yet. I'm going to use a homemade tension wrench, one of my favourites. Um, no, I'm not going to use a medium up, sorry. I'm going to use this pocket pick that I got from Foxy. Absolute work of art. I just feel so good, it's so nice. Get this sideways so people can see. There we go. Got a little click out of. I think that was fine. Fault set there. Quite a deep one actually. Let's look at the rest. The rest. No. One. One's definitely uh, so counter rotation. Nope. Reset. Three. No, false set back again. Oh, no. no. And there we go. Well, it was right hung up on the number one there. Let's get this uh, let's get it gutted. Oh, I forgot. I realised as well the other day. Uh, I mentioned a f quite a few videos back that I was going to do um, a challenge for everyone to have a go of. Um, I haven't forgot about it. All it is is I need to learn to do it so I can do the video to show that I, uh, you know, it can be done. Uh, I've seen a couple of YouTubers out there videos of quite a while ago. And they've done a not a challenge, but they've had a go themselves doing this, and they've done it. So I know there's a few there that. 
that Noel can do this. So uh, it should be quite interesting. And like I say, the prize is going to be the um, the Abus Challenge padlock that I made. Um, it's all in a bit of fun. But uh, yeah, once I've learned to do it properly myself, then I can get the challenge up and running. Um, it's no good without me doing it first. Right, let's have a look around. We can lock this back up because we have the key. I hate them. You know, I like the circlips that you get. But I hate these. Because they never fit back on right. You have to straighten them out. You can't get them off properly. And the... Um, sorry, I'm doing that. In the way there. They bend so easily. I like the spring loaded ones. There we go, got it partially off. There we go, yeah, bloody hate them ones. Alright, so uh, grab myself a follower. And the key. Where are we going there? About there, I'll do. There we go. Let's see what we got. About there. We got a standard keeping. Standard. 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 Definitely all stock, nothing going on with the core. This actually would make a neat challenge lock. Those pins are really nice and long and definitely right for um, modifying. Long, definitely enough material on them to modify them. So we've got in here. We've got a spool in number one, which is dodgy. We've got a spool in number two. We've got a standard in number three. We've got a spool in number four. We've got a spool in number five. Wow, I <laughs> should have called this a spoolie. Let's uh, think that's some all. All standard uh, copper spring, uh, brass. Oh no, copper springs, but the uh, they could tell they're not being messed with. They're they're in very good condition. Them springs. Um, but this really is just full of spools. Can definitely do something to change them as well. But, um, yeah, there's a lot of. I don't understand why there's so many spills in that. More is not always better, as I've learnt. Um, well, it was a fairly fun lock to pick. It was quite easy to. Definitely going to challenge, turn that into a challenge lock. Well needed. Uh, looks like it's a, a quite a nice lock to do. But um, yeah, well, I hope you like this video. And thank you very much for watching. Uh, please subscribe. Don't forget to like. And bye.